If you watch enough hunting shows or read magazines, you're gonna see the term mock scrape thrown around a lot. Well, how exactly do you make one of those and why should you consider doing that? That's what I wanna show you here. Basically a mock scrape is creating a scrape yourself where there isn't one already. Now a scrape is a location where deer leave a whole lot of information through scent that they communicate to other deer in the area. It's gonna consist of two things. There's gonna be a branch hanging down, that's called a licking branch. And then the ground, there's gonna be a kicked up area of dirt. So that's what a natural scrape looks like. When creating a mock scrape, you need to replicate those two things. You wanna do that in an area where it's advantageous for you as a hunter though. So a mock scrape can do a couple different things for it. I might create a mock scrape in a spot where I wanna get good trail camera pictures because deer will often check those scrapes and stop for a moment, allowing you to get a good picture. Number two, I will set up mock scrapes in locations near tree stands where I want a buck to pass through maybe just a little bit closer to where I'm sitting. Or maybe I want him to stop in a location where I have a shooting lane so I can get that shot. So I almost always now, when setting up a tree stand or tree saddle location, make sure to have a mock scrape or two strategically located in the spot where I think a deer might pass through that he'll stop in the right place for that shot. So that's why you might want to create one of these. Now, to actually do that, it's pretty simple. First step is find a location where there's a branch overhanging and make sure it's at deer level. In this case, I've got a good branch, but it's a little bit high. So the first thing I usually try is I just try to snap that branch a little bit so it hangs down. And we'll see, sometimes you can get it just slightly bent and it gets to the angle you want. That's pretty good. That'll work right there. So the licking branch is where you want it. Now the next thing you gotta do is just clear a space underneath it where you can have that kicked up ground where the deer is going to, a buck will actually come in here and he will urinate on the back of his legs, leaving a scent on the ground in that kicked up area. And then deer will lick and rub, these got, they've got different glands in their forehead and their eyes, that they will rub all on this, leaving a scent. So I've just got a weed cutter here, I'm just gonna clear out some of the stuff underneath it. Now, once that's done, I'll just kick it up real good with my feet. Or use the weed cutter. You can do this in season, you'll get the most activity on it right away. But even in the summer, deer will still check these licking branches. So I've got a good scuffed up area. I've got a licking branch at the right height. Last thing I typically like to do is add a little bit of scent. Now a lot of people think that you need to pour, you know, doe and ester scent in here, or buck scent or something like that. I don't think you need to do that. You can just use your own human urine to get this thing kicked off. Now I just relieved myself a little bit ago, so I don't need to do that. But just imagine me taking care of business right here. Then I'm basically set. The last thing I will do though is get some scent eliminating spray and just spray everything down where I might have touched it so I'm not leaving human scent when that deer comes passing through. So I'll just spray where I touched on the branch. I'll spray some nearby vegetation that I was brushing up against. My scent inside the scrape location, research has proven that's not a big deal. So I get this all sprayed. Now I'm good to go. I'm gonna leave it alone. I've got a camera in this instance that's gonna take some quality pictures over the mock scrape location. In another situation, maybe later this season, I'll set up a tree stand over here. This will be another spot where I could likely get a shot. So that is why you might wanna have a mock scrape and exactly how to do it. If you enjoy what you just saw, like this video, leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you catch all of our future episodes.